Hey, you're here for another glitch, right? So today I have one for you. This one I was originally going to post three days ago, yet I had uploaded an entirely different video. Shout out to the member of our Discord. So that is why today I'm going to be showing you this brand new reset cooldown glitch, which can happen when you loot certain areas. This is absolutely amazing and it's worth it for two spots and I'm going to show you why. If you're new to the game, using exploits to your advantage is against the terms and conditions. So just know you've been warned and let's get right into the video. We first want to make our way towards a workshop and this is located near the Poseidon power substation. Fast travel to this location. When you have finally loaded through, you want to head straight to the workshop. From there, you want to follow exactly where I go and the reason for this is because we are going to loot specific areas. As we are making our way to the first one, I want to explain why this is a glitch exploit bug and the reason for that is because there are cooldowns when you loot specific toolbox boxes, crates, or even safes, which means when you loot a toolbox or one of those safes, you will not be able to loot it either the next day or until you have picked up 255 plus items. The cool part is right now is that there are locations that are bugged to where these items will reset automatically without any effort. You do not need to pick up 255 plus items to reset everything, nor do you need to wait the next day for that cooldown. If you are doing this, I recommend placing a tent nearby so that way you're close to this, as well as looting the three toolboxes and that safe at the end. Additionally, as a plus bonus you could loot the dumpsters to get caps as well as the lockers that will give you items you can loot many other containers in here nothing on the outside will come back but anything that's in these containers will refresh when i'm doing this this only takes about a minute to run through and grab everything and then leave to join back to a new server it's well worth it but once you are done looting everything that you possibly want to loot you then want to go to the social menu and then leave that way but if not you can pause the game and then scroll all the way down and leave just the same way once you have left join a new server we are going to go back but this time i'm going to speed it up because you guys know the locations let's head to the first location to see if that toolbox had reset itself automatically for us what do you know it definitely did let's go to the second one and see what that toolbox has to offer okay cool got some items there now to the third one this one uh, it gives decent uh, items, but definitely the last and but not least is probably the best, which is the safe. This will give you a good amount of items. As you guys saw previously, we had just looted this same safe. We did nothing extra. We just came back, reset it, and it's back. We did not even pick up 255 items, and we definitely did not wait for that next day cooldown. So let's go to the second location. But first, before I even do that, I want to show you what I received from doing two runs. I received all of these items but now it's time to scrap them down. I was able to acquire a good amount of gears from this as well as other items, so definitely, as you guys see, it's well worth it. The second location is Morgantown Airport. This one will allow you to gain 12 aluminum every time as well as many other junk items. I recommend this one if you want aluminum, but again, if you have not seen yesterday's video, I highly recommend watching it, or maybe it was the day before that. I'm losing touch of reality, I think. Moving forward, all you have to do is head exactly where I go and it's to this first hangar. This will not automatically be unlocked, but if it is, go ahead and grab all the items. But if not, use the auto unlock perk card. That's great. Then from there, head to the next one over and we are going to loot this crate. From there, you can just instantly server hop. I recommend using a tent uh, just to get close to this area. Then this is me leaving the server. I joined back and all the items refresh. Literally, that's it. These locations are just bugged right now. These are the only ones that I know of that you can constantly reset set just by leaving the server and joining back if there are more let me know down below hope you guys enjoy the video take care of yourselves live happy i'm gonna head on out see you on the next one thanks guys peace